Danielle and Darren worked as informants for Lang and McNeil. McNeil has a temper. I assumed he'd fallen out with them, shot them. Lang was trying to clean up his mess. By staging a murder-suicide? Appeased my conscience and kept the gun. It's clean. I swabbed for DNA and prints at the time. Who's that poached egg, you silly bastard? Get it fixed. Start again. I'm not serving that up, you novice asshole. Where do you think you're going, fatty? I was just, eh. Uh, I was just, eh. Uh, just, eh. Uh, just get the nibbles on the trays and onto the tables. I was uh, on my way to the toilet. Get those nibbles out! Hi! <laughs> the heart you brought in. Human. Male. Over 50, apparently. Mm. Not yours. No, I checked. <laughs> if you could keep that to yourself for now. And you can expect a visit from the Inverness Socos. What? You have a couple of hours, get everything above board. It's not that. I'm tons of beef online, more arriving. My margins are practically zero as it is. I'll talk to them. Push it back. Should have burned the thing. You spent yesterday scouring Brotty Ferry, collecting dozens of character witnesses on my behalf. That was the plan. Oh, unfortunately, I was sidetracked by an intriguing offer on dark rum in Stewart's bar. However, I did meet a fascinating man in a red jumper. And? Well, he didn't know you, Bob, but he did like rum. So once me and him sort of fell into sync, things got a wee bit out of hand. I think we're straying a wee bit from the point. We had a few cans on the beach. Then we were running through the park, just laughing, really. <laughs> the next thing you know, I was in the bath. And I'm thinking, well, thank God that's over, you know? And, and then I remember, Bob, I don't have a bath. Just stop talking. 